Cheetah vs Clouded Leopard Who will win in a battle to the death in which both opponents are equally motivated to kill each other? Stick with us till the end as this would be a very interesting video. The cheetah is the second largest member of the small cat subfamily or Fellini, after the puma and cannot roar or growl. The Sunder Clouded Leopard or Neophelis diardi is a medium-sized wildcat native to Borneo and Sumatra. They are stocky animals and has a long tail. They are good runners, swimmers and climbers. Akinanix jubatus is 1.7 to 2.3 meters long and weighs 21 to 48 kg, they are 0.8 meters tall at the shoulders. Neophelis diardi is 1.7 to 2.3 meters long and 17 to 30 kg in mass. They are 0.48 meters tall. A cheetah has a weak physique for a cat of its size if we are talking about brute power. It has a flexible spine with a muscular tail. The hind legs are longer and heavier than the front legs. The cheetah has an enlarged heart, lungs and nostrils along with a small head. All of these adaptations contribute to its speed. Even with a larger heart, the animal quickly overheats due to its speed. Neophelis diardi inhabits the land and treetops it has stocky front limbs compared to the longer hind legs. A muscular and long body with the largest canines of any cut related to the body size. The cheetah can achieve speeds of up to 130 km per hour in captivity. In the wild, they can reach a speed of 53 to 105 km per hour. A cheetah can jump 1.8 meters or 6.1 feet high and 4.6 to 6 meters or 15.3 to 20 feet long. Sunder Clouded Leopard can run at speeds of 32 to 64 km per hour for short bursts. They can jump 1.2 to 1.56 meters, or 3.9 to 5.1 feet high and 4.5 to 5.9 meters, or 15 to 19.5 feet long. Cheetah has an edge on this category. It is faster and more agile on land. So I'll give it the edge. Does having an edge here really contribute to terrain compatibility? And that brings me to the next point. Cheetahs are quite good swimmers but unlike tigers, jaguars, leopards and clouded leopards, they usually avoid water. They are not as good swimmers as their foe. Clouded leopards reached islands via swimming. This may be due to their similarity with tigers. They don't mind getting wet and near water, they do swim but not as often as tigers and jaguars. Even though they mostly hunt on land, they climb well. Sunder clouded leopard can hang from trees using their hind legs and even hunt this way. But their mainland cousin does this better as it is adapted to live up there. Cheetahs are one of the worst climbers. The cheetah has non-retractile claws unlike all cats. We will discuss later why this will be the major issue of the cheetah in this fight. It is crystal clear that Neophelis diardi has the edge. Habitat and distribution. Cheetahs inhabit Algeria, Mali, Niger, Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Nambia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Iran. 
These carnivorous cats typically set up homes in habitats such as deserts, semi-deserts, savannas, grasslands, arid woodlands, and scrubby settings. They gravitate to wide open environments. Sunder clouded leopard now inhabits the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. Their fossils were found in Java. In Borneo, it occurs in lowland rainforest and at lower density in log forest below 1,500 meters. In Sumatra, it appears to be more abundant in hilly, mountain areas. Behavior Adult cheetahs may be found alone or in all male groups called coalitions. A coalition of male cheetahs, most likely two to three litter mates that have stayed together, defend a territory against other males. They may stay in the coalition for their entire lives. There are three stages in the life cycle of the cheetah, cub from birth to 18 months, adolescence, from 18 to 24 months and adult life which is 24 months till death. The litter size is three to four cubs. Cheetahs reach maturity at 1.5 to 1.91 years on average. Females may mate with more than one male. Their gestation period is 94 days on average. The lifespan of wild cheetahs are around 12 years. Breeding males are territorial, each one defending an area of 15 to 30 square miles, 39 to 78 square kilometers. Sunder clouded leopards are solitary. They become mature at 2 years and live up to 11 to 15 years. In Sumatra they are mainly nocturnal due to threats from tigers. But in Borneo, they rule the jungles. They patrol their territories during daytime. They may use logging roads for hunting and traveling. Sunder clouded leopards have territories with an area of 20 to 50 square kilometers, mating can occur any month. Clouded leopards have a litter size of 1 to 5 cubs and a gestation period of 85 to 94 days. While marking and patrolling its territory, two males may meet. In such a case, both will engage in a battle if both disagrees to part ways. This includes grappling and biting with an extremely low death rate. Sunder clouded leopards are the hardest cats to breed because for an unknown reason, males get aggressive towards females and kill them. In one case, a male engaged in a fight with a female and ripped apart its legs. The female was found lying in a pool of blood the next morning. Males will attack and injure humans if cornered this time. The cheetah uses its arms to hold its opponent in place and pin it down while the jaws do the dirty work. The cheetah has relatively blunt claws that are not completely retractile. They are 1.5 inches long. Cheetah has a bite pressure of 87.3 to 114.1 psi at the canine tip. Sunder clouded leopard uses its paws neither to pin nor hold the opponent in a fight, but to grapple and deliver devastating swipes. Sunder clouded leopard has a devastating swipe, even if its forelimbs are short. The reason is because their arms are super thick compared to body size, as thick as a man's arms. They fight like leopards.
Sunderclouded Leopard has a bite force quotient the greatest of any big cat, on par with the Jaguar. It has 3.28 to 6.19 cm long fangs, and a bite pressure of 122.3 to 151.5 psi at the canine tip. Worse for the cheetah, the sunderclouded leopard has a 100 degrees opening mouth with sharper teeth and claws which are retractile. Thus, taking a clear edge in this category. Clouded leopard is the most ancient cat living now, it had been here since 9 million years. What made this cat survive this long? Its strength, arm power, agility, and jaws. They hunt monkeys, small deer, wild pigs, birds and rodents, domestic calves, pigs, goats and poultry. They rarely hunt porcupines, animal cubs, young, female and juvenile orangutans, sambha and barking deer. Bornean clouded leopards spend most of the time on land. They hide behind the underbrush and leaps onto their prey's back grabbing its body and biting its neck, which kills it. In Sumatra, after killing their prey, clouded leopards behave like African leopards. They carry their prey up the trees as tigers constantly roam on the forest floors. In Borneo, they eat on the floor. Bornean clouded leopards defend their kills from sun bears, civets, varieties of cats and mustelids. Cheetahs stalk as close as possible to their prey and initiate the high-speed chase. They trip the prey with their dew claw and then they kill it with a bite to the neck. Cheetahs hunt impalas, warthogs and other ungulates and their young. They take on an ostrich, zebra or wild beast as groups. They eat on the floor, behind vegetation as quickly as they could, because of threats from hyenas, lions, wild dogs, leopards, and other predators. Defense The cheetah has its underbelly and neck as a weakness. The sunder-clouded leopard has the same weak points. But they are harder to access. Let me explain. Due to the lower center of gravity, the cheetah would access these points with difficulty. The cheetah has its body vulnerable due to the clouded leopard being able to attack it directly on the weak spots, giving the edge to the clouded leopard. The cheetah has longer limbs that can thrash, push, and flip its opponent. It can also use them to deliver a special attack. It would help the cheetah to keep the clouded leopard at bay. Battle experience. Cheetahs live in a very dangerous environment, with lions, leopards, hyenas, wild dogs and a variety of cats. Clouded leopards in Borneo face a variety of cats and civets. Their main enemies are sun bears. X-Factor Both animals have an X-Factor, striking momentum. The cheetah has a momentum of up to 1006 kg ms. The clouded leopard has a momentum of up to 536 kg ms or even 771 kg ms. Now it is time for the battle. Let us find out together who will win in this legendary battle. Cheetah wins at speed and agility, reach and experience. Its foe wins at terrain compatibility, weaponry and defense. This is a close one.
In the scenario in which the clouded leopard would win, it would tank the cheetah's hits and leap onto the cheetah and grapple and swipe it or bite it to death after getting onto its back. In the scenario in which the cheetah wins, it could have pinned the clouded leopard and bit its neck and somehow managed to hold it in place. You can vote who wins more in the comments. In my opinion, the clouded leopard will have a slight edge because the cheetah does not have fully retractile claws and weaponry to kill it.